Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, August 22nd, 2019. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice here that the ES is trading right at the previous three day highs and is just shy of the two week highs that come in uh, just below the 29.50 area. Price is held up here the entire overnight and has had many attempts to hold above the previous session's highs and has rotated back down a few times. Uh, so we have a wide ranging trading range type of day here so far in pre-market trading. Overall, uh, as I've mentioned before, the 2960 level continues to be the most important level here and even if price were to take out these recent highs, it could be an opportunity to fade it back down. Fade it back down toward 2820, perhaps 2850 maybe even lower from there. So again, this is a zone to be uh, cautious of even if price starts to push through that area. We could have a little bit of near-term strength followed by what could be rejection in this area of the chart. Again, the market really needs to find exception above uh, acceptance above 2960 in order to really start to push higher, which can happen, but at the moment, given the, the recent price action and given the break and failure of uh, support here, support turns to resistance, and this zone becomes an area that bears will be looking to fade. So again, uh, this is a zone here where we could push a little bit higher, but may run into higher time frame resistance. If we take a look at the NQ, we have also very similar price action here where price has traded around the previous session's high, the three-day highs, and is now just below here the 7,800 level with today's high being 7,782s. Again, that's a zone between 7800 and 7850 that could be seen as an opportunity to fade uh, back towards 7400 7414 is the 200 day perhaps it goes lower than that but just on a very short term basis here any rejection in this zone could provide an opportunity to fade it back to 7400 uh, any acceptance beyond the previous month's high here around 7850 could provide uh, a path for new highs and uh, that's certainly something to watch out for but right now initially speaking watching this zone here for signs of failure all right taking a look now at crude oil you'll notice crude oil in the previous session here had a bit of a failed high rejection crude oil continues to see higher highs day over day higher lows day over day and at the moment has broken that pattern with a lower low today and is also holding below that midpoint there, that midpoint of the previous session. That's going to be a very important zone to watch up until the previous session's high price. That zone there seems to be rejected. Price got above 57s for the first time in a while uh, since it was rejected last time and turned down. We still have that upper trend line here to contend with as well. And uh, price could be building out here before it attempts another turn down toward 54, perhaps as low as that 50 half. So again, that's going to be a very important zone to watch. Again, as I've mentioned before, 57 to 58, that 57 zone right there has been offered all month long. And while we're back at that area again, it's still seeing signs of rejection. So again, keep an eye on the previous session's midpoint, even as high as uh, the high two days ago, because that zone right there could provide an opportunity for bears to defend for another return back toward 54s. All right, here's a look at gold futures. You'll notice gold futures has a very clear uptrending market right now. Price still hasn't bounced out of uh, the Pima trigger zone. It's a very narrow four-day range now. And uh, again, we talked about the narrow three-day ranges uh, that we're developing. Now these are four-day ranges. We can put our indicator up to four days right here. And you'll notice the compression that has developed. Let's bring this over right here so we still have a very compressed chart right here this is 42 percent of normal trading just 21 and a half points of range when it's been averaging about 40 well nearly 46 points of range on a four-day range basis so that's very very clear right there that that compression and that compression can lead to expansion down the road um, you know we've been building that range for a while here very compressed throughout this entire range the last time we had compression on a four-day basis was here and we got a quick breakout we got another four-day range here and then another breakout that led to the August rally so right now again 
as I've mentioned before, anything between 1480 and 1500 could be an opportunity to fade it and rally it, even as low as 1460. But a violation of 1460 would open up a return back toward 1375. So price really needs to hold above 1460 in order for another bounce to occur. Again, I'll mention that Fed Chair Powell speaks Friday morning at 9 a.m. Central, and that's likely what the market is waiting for this week. So we could see further range-bound action heading into that event, and then once the event comes, we could see some sort of movement one way or another. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.